Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taja Marie and today I wanted to talk about mental health, particularly depression and anxiety. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my new and growing family and leave a comment down below if you've ever felt sad for no reason and what if anything did you do to get out of it. Alright, let's get this video started. With depression and anxiety, one of the most important things that you can realize is that you're not alone. Life is hard with many ups and downs, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm seeing depression as a very temporary entity, like how seasons come and go, and like how it goes from night to day. And our society has always been taught that if you're rich and famous and successful and beautiful, that you should be happy. And we all know that's the furthest thing from the truth. You see rich people leaving the country to escape certain pressures. You see famous, successful people committing suicide. And it always seems that the most beautiful girls are always the most insecure. And black people especially have a hard time not only talking about mental health, but seeking help. Grandma gets cancer, everyone knows that she has a problem, and we wanna see that she gets better. But when we have a mental issue with the most complex organ in our body, people don't wanna talk about it. They don't wanna acknowledge it, and actually they just tell you to get over it, and that you're mentally weak. So I'm sitting here strong and vulnerable enough to not only tell you how I feel, but how I'm dealing with it. You know they don't actually want to hang out with you, right? They're using you. That's not true. They pity you. Hey baby, what's up? Hey baby, I want to see if you want to go out to eat or something tonight. Yeah, I won't be able to do it tonight. Uh, I just picked up a shift. Okay, maybe next time. Okay, just call me before you go to bed, all right? All right. All right, I love you, babe. Good night. I love you too. Bye. You do know that's like total BS, right? Can you stop? He's just out late. Again. He's not a cheater. He's not a liar. <laughs> Neither was your ex.
Anxiety and depression is harder for people to understand because you can't see it. I don't wear it like a scarlet letter pinned to my chest. So people assume it's not really there. As if pain doesn't exist unless you're bleeding. My anxiety eats at me and tells me I'm not good enough. I feel trapped. I don't even realize I'm grinding my teeth and that my leg is shaking furiously. I avoid eye contact. I don't go out much or like meeting new people. My anxiety tells me no one likes me. It makes me overthink and create scenarios in my head. My depression makes me antisocial and distant from friends and family. It screams at me and makes me quiet. It makes me hurt myself. If you ask me where these scars came from, I'd tell you my cat. I feel it crawling in my brain at night. Insane thoughts that I didn't have time to listen to during the day come crashing in. I want to cry, but I can't. I have no tears left. I'm completely numb. And what's funny is that I've become so good at hiding it, even for myself. It's just so easy to pretend. I laugh and smile and interact when I need to. You'd never even realize their perpetual storm. I never want anyone to see me the way I see myself. But here you are. You've captured a glimpse. This is my struggle, and I deal with it in many ways. Hello, Tracy. Nah, you look good, though. Huh? Yeah. She got girls. Girls are the ones that want to be all over you. Yeah, he's so sorry. We have to find something to look forward to. My puppy Ghost, he needs me. Stroking, hugging, and loving an animal can rapidly calm and soothe you when you're feeling stressed and anxious. The companionship can ease the loneliness of depression. Set goals, book a trip, travel, and see the beauty of the world. Keep your brain busy learning and trying new things. Yes, travel and sightseeing can be exhausting. So try not to get too attached to plans and give yourself freedom to nap, relax, and recharge. Go to a concert. Dozens of studies support the benefits of music therapy. Music can be therapeutic. It can reduce muscle tension, increase motivation, decrease anxiety, and increase self-esteem. Go to a party, enjoy nightlife, drug-free of course. Choose a friend to accompany you to help combat anxiety. Know your strengths, enjoy the environment, and be kind to yourself. Atrocious. Try a new career a or craft. Research shows that people with hobbies are less likely to suffer from stress, low moods, and depression. Pursuing a new craft or career can make you feel happier and more relaxed. Try visualizing a happy moment. When you're sliding into unhappy territory and gloom, just imagine when you were happiest. Stay active, laugh, and play games. <laughs> Stop yourself from the what ifs and just tackle things head on. Socialize, make plans. When you're depressed and wanting to just lay in bed, and avoid the world? Venture outside your walls. Go see family and friends, even if you don't want to. Experience new things. Maybe find new interests 
and passions. Soak up some sun. Sunlight and vitamin C can trigger different hormones in your brain and have a huge impact on your mood. Work out. Studies have shown that just 15 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly decrease symptoms of anxiety, stress, and depression. Exercise breaks down stress hormones like cortisol while releasing feel-good endorphins at the same time. Spend some time alone and unplug. We're living in crazy, sad times. Staying away from social media makes you feel less prone to such high levels of cortisol leaving you calmer and more focused. Dance. Dance is a strong antidepressant. It also gives depressed and anxious individuals an opportunity to interact socially and emotionally with others. Experiencing different cultures was enlightening and humbling for me in many ways. Try a different view of things. Instead of telling yourself you're ugly and worthless, find beauty in yourself, just like you find it all around you. I love positive affirmations. Force yourself to look up and challenge negative thoughts with positive ones. You got a crowd now. Lastly, but not least, seek professional help or therapy. I have a couple different apps on my phone. I like the app Jure. It's a mindful interactive journal that can guide you towards feeling calmer, happier, and more present. I also use the app Fabulous. It helps you create habits of any kind. And it also has different meditations on it as well. And then there's Talkspace and the Better Health app that allows you to have live sessions with a licensed therapist. They also have a couple's version and financial aid if you can't afford counseling. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all found solace in knowing that you aren't alone on whatever mental health journey that you're on, whether it be anxiety, depression, or anything else. Leave a comment down below if you've ever felt sad for no reason. And what, if anything, did you do to make yourself feel better? I hope this video helps someone. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my new and growing family. Alrighty guys, see you in the next one.